I'm giving away three battle passes in every single video. All you guys have to do is like this video and comment your gamer tag that simple. But I'm giving you guys the top five Modern Warfare 2 class setups. And you guys are absolutely gonna love these. These are all meta. You guys are actually gonna go crazy with these. So we're gonna start out with the Vaznev because I just think that it's the best choice overall. So we put on the FSS Shark Fin and I actually didn't tune this, but we can increase aiming out of stability. Now, if you don't want to, you can leave it alone, like I said. But that's what I chose to do. Now, put on the 9mm overpressure for the ammunition target flinch. Set the bullet velocity to 2.61 GR and the damage range 0.02. Now, it may not seem optimal, but I thought that was the best choice overall. So, as you guys see, the more I change it, it's just not worth it. That's why I kind of left it alone. And 0.02, I mean, you could increase that. And, I mean, it could be beneficial, but I just didn't think it was necessary because of the recoil reduction you're going to get for recoil smoothness. Now, put on the 45 round mag. If you think you can handle 30, then cool. You can throw on a muzzle or a barrel, but I just don't think you have to. Then put on a true tacker for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control set the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.16 inches and the weight to 0.03 ounces for recoil steadiness then i put on the Atrizat stock for aim walking speed and, speed and sprint speed at the cost of aiming stability i changed the aim down sight speed to negative 3.23 ounces so here's the end product and in my opinion this vaznev is actually incredible the only thing i have to watch out for is long range is going to be tough because you're probably going to have to burst fire and in those gunfights where you actually get the kill or get killed incredibly fast i would be very careful with just burst firing this i would honestly just suggest keeping it short to medium range and avoiding the long range gunfight next i'm showing you guys the m4 and some of you guys actually saw my m4 video where i played multiplayer search and destroy and you guys absolutely loved it so i'm going to show you guys this harbinger d20 for sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim stability, and aim walking speed. Set the bullet velocity at 0.68 inches and the recoil smoothness at 0.81 ounces. Put on the high tower 20 inch barrel for bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy at the cost of aim down sight speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. Set the damage range at 0.36 inches and a recoil steadiness at 0.31 pounds. Put on the Corio Perseo uh, factory for aiming stability and recoil control at the cost of aim walking speed, sprint speed, aim down sight speed, and crouch movement speed. Set the aiming out stability, stability to 1.26 inches and the aim down sight speed to negative 2.06 ounces. Put on the X10 grip for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control and set the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.617 inches. Put the aim down sight speed to negative 0.48 ounces and then put on a 45 round mag unless you think you can handle 60, I don't recommend it. Or if you can handle 30, even better, just change the ammunition to high velocity or over pressure. Now here's the end product in my opinion, even though it doesn't ADS super quick, you guys, you guys see this thing has literally no recoil. So the trade-off is absolutely beautiful and I would honestly use this version over a speed build any day of the week. Just because you honestly don't even have to try with this build. It's just a fantastic weapon and in my opinion you guys are actually going to go crazy with it. Next I have to show you guys this beautiful Lockman sub because I mean it just gets the job done. So I actually put on the AVR T90 comp for the muzzle for horizontal vertical recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and aiming stability. I increased the gun kick control by 0.10 inches and the recoil stabilization by 0.23 ounces. Then I put on the FTAC M sub 12 inch for bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and aim hip fire accuracy at the cost of aim down sight speed and movement speed and hip recoil control. Set the damage range to 0.31 inches and the recoil steadiness to 0.19 pounds. Put on a 40 round mag unless you can handle 15, which I don't recommend just because I don't think that's enough bullets. And 50, it feels like too much. You're, the train off is you're just going to be moving way too slow. Lockman TCG 10 for recoil control at the cost of aiming stability. Set the sprint to fire speed to 0.17 inches and the recoil stayed in is 0.03 ounces, both on the negative side. Put on the LM stockless mod for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control at the cost of aiming recoil control, aiming stability, and flinch resistance. Here's the end product, and it's so beautiful. Considering this thing actually has the stockless mod, this thing actually does not kick that much. So downside is still long range, you're not gonna do that good, so you should avoid long range gunfights, but the short to medium is absolutely amazing. And it gets the job done fast. So please try it out. And I think you guys are going to love this build. One of my current all-time favorite builds at the moment is the Vel 46. And this build right here with the tuning is just insane. It melts in so fast. So FSS Shark Fin 90 for aiming out stability. Increased aiming out stability at 0.25 inches and the recoil stabilization by 0.44 ounces. Then put on the VLK Laser 7MW for aim down sight speed, aiming stability, sprint to fire speed at the cost of laser being visible in ADS. Increase the zeroing distance by 11.52 feet and the sprint to fire speed by negative 0.32 ounces. 30 round mag for movement speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and reload quickness at the cost of magazine ammo capacity, so instead of 40, you have 30. Schlager soldier grip for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control, set the sprint to fire speed by negative 0.28 inches and the recoil steadiness to 0.29 ounces. Last but not least, the demo RXT stock for cross movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control, set the aiming out stability of 1.55 inches and the aim down sight speed to negative 2.06 ounces. Here's the end product, and it's so beautiful, you can actually snake. 
and then just absolutely shred the enemy. Now, the only downside is you're not going to be able to actually go long range. You're going to have to avoid the long range gunfights. Like, I, I really don't recommend going for these kills. Long range kills, you can burst fire, but this is really made for short to medium range. I'll show you guys what happens if you have all your bullets. So, basically, you go long range. This is what you're going to be doing, and it's just not optimal. I don't think people want to count their bullets like that when they can just stick to the short to medium and actually do very well. Now the final thing I have to show you guys is this weapon right here. The TAC-56 is overall the tryhard meta weapon for Modern Warfare 2 and I think this build would do fantastic for you. 17.5 tons of pro barrel for damage range, hip fire accuracy, a bullet velocity at the cost of aim down sight speed and hip recoil control, set the damage range to 0.30 inches and the aim walking speed to negative 0.27 pounds. Well, the 5.56 high velocity for bullet velocity at the cost of damage range. Set the bullet velocity to 6.39 GR and do not change the weight. FSS combat grip for recoil control at the cost of aiming stability. Set the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.20 inches and the recoil stain is to 0.71 ounces. TV cardinal stock for aim walking speed, sprint speed at the cost of aiming stability. Set the aiming out stability to 1.86 inches and the aim down sight speed to negative 1.94 ounces. Schlager's peck box for aim down sight speed. Set the aiming ability at 21.39 feet and the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.21 ounces. Here's the end product and it's absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, you don't even have to try with this build. It's just, it's such an amazing and broken build that if you aren't using this, you're most likely going to get slayed by a tryhard in your lobby that's going to use this exact build. Trust me, this is the ideal tryhard build for the TAC-56. And if you use this, no tryhard is going to be able to beat you, especially if you have good aim. I don't know how important secondaries are to you guys, but I think it's important to have this in the video. I put on the FTAC Siege, and this is my MP9 version, basically. I put on the SuperTAC VI barrel for damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy at the cost of aim down sight speed, hip recoil control, and movement speed. Set the damage range at 0.14 inches, and the recoil steadiness at 0.31 pounds. Then the 9mm overpressured, I actually did not change, but it's more likely a good idea to change it, so it increases target flinch, so just increase the bullet velocity just by a little bit, probably about 5.40. Damage range, you increase it just by a little bit, about 0.29. You'd be good to go. 50 round drum don't suggest 72 i think that's too many and then you'll be moving like a turtle you don't want that sir 160 for sprint to fire speed named down sight speed the cost of recoil control set the damage set the aiming house ability at 0.03 inches and do not change the weight then put on the ftac folder i actually did not tune this but crouch movement speed recoil control sprint speed and aiming stability at the cost of aim walking speed and sprint to fire speed now if you do want to change this you can increase the aiming out stability if you want more accuracy or if you want to actually strafe a little bit faster which would probably be ideal for this situation you can actually change this to negative 0.82 inches so here's the end product right here and it's absolutely beautiful like i said you have good strafe speed very low recoil now the only downside is this is a long range fight so I don't recommend really messing with that. You have to really burst fire, and it takes a lot of bullets to actually burst fire this SMG, uh, well, this weapon right here. So stick to short to medium, you'll be all right. Now, the one thing I have to talk to you guys about now is my perk package and my lethal and tactical. So stun grenade and semtex. I don't think you need a throwing knife. This is a war zone. Um, now, I suggest not having both of these. I would suggest just having one. You know, so just stick to dead silence just because as soon as you get the kill, you can fly around the map with no sound. Perk package is scavenger, battle hardened, fast hands, and quick fix. Scavenger, obviously, to get more bullets, battle hardened just because I feel like I get stunned more than I get naded. Fast hands to reload, use equipment, swap buttons faster. And quick fix is so useful. As soon as you get a kill, your health just goes back to normal. So you can get multiple kills and just slay like a super soldier. This is the most optimal setup in Modern Warfare 2. And in my opinion, if you guys use this, you're going to be the best slayer in the lobby.